بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ ود یو مائٹوسز اینڈ میوسز سٹوڈنٹس آئی ول ناٹ بی گوئنگ ان دا ڈیٹیلز اور ڈفرینٹ ڈائگرامیٹک السٹریشنز آف مائٹوسز اینڈ میوسز آل دیز تھنگز ول کیپ یو کنفیوز تھرو آؤٹ یور بیچ آئی ول اونلی ٹیل یو basic points so that you may keep your concepts clean okay students cell division consists of two processes number one division of the nucleus and number two division of the cytoplasm these two processes they constitute cell division and this cell division is continuously going on in different cells of our body cells of skin cells of gastrointestinal tract cells of respiratory epithelium sex cells okay these divisions are continually going on now students as far as mitosis and meiosis are concerned these two types of cell division they are mainly confined to the nuclear material division in these two types of division basically the dna or the chromosome divides whereas the cytoplasmic division which is called cytokinesis it occurs after the completion of mitosis or meiosis process okay in our today's lecture you will also be experiencing comparison between mitosis and meiosis okay we start mitosis and meiosis students mitosis is asexual type of cell division okay whereas meiosis is sexual division okay mitosis consists of only one large stage whereas meiosis is composed of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 whenever the cell division of meiosis occurs it always completes a two divisions meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 number third point students mitosis cell division occurs in somatic cells somatic cells which are somatic cells students all the cells of the different body parts except sex cells are called somatic cells in simple words you can call them as different body cells somatic cells cells of the skin cells of the nails cells of the hair cells of the gastrointestinal tract respiratory epithelial cells all the types of cells except sex cells they are called as somatic cells okay now meiosis students meiosis occurs only in sex cells which are sex cells male and female sex cells sperms and eggs okay that's why we have designated that meiosis occurs 
in sex cells only and mitosis occurs in all the other somatic cells clear students i have told you mitosis is composed of different further phases prophase pro metaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase okay these are the different stages of mitotic cell division prophase pro metaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase now to continue with meiosis students first meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 then each of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 undergoes prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase but we label them as prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 telophase 1 all these four stages they continuing in meiosis 1 and when this meiosis 1 telophase 1 is completed meiosis 1 enters the meiosis 2 then we start with prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 okay students these four stages have almost all the similarities in them but the main difference which will make your concept clear is that students in mitosis one parent cell divides into two daughter cell parent cell divides into two daughter cells in mitosis whereas in meiosis parent cell first form two daughter cells in meiosis 1 okay and then two more daughter cells at the end of meiosis 2 so at the end of meiosis we have four daughter cells from one parent cell in meiosis one parent cell four daughter cells okay in mitosis one parent cell divides into two daughter cells whereas in meiosis one parent cell divides into four daughter cells now as a result of mitosis the daughter cells contain same number of chromosome as their parent cell okay daughter cells 
I repeat, the daughter cells contain same number of chromosomes as their parent cells. If parent cell was having diploid number of chromosome, daughter cells will also be having diploid number of chromosomes. If parent cell has haploid number of chromosomes, daughter cell will also be having haploid number of chromosomes. Students, this is reverse in meiosis. In meiosis, the diploid number diploid number of cells of parent diploid number of chromosomes of parent cell they are divided into haploid number diploid number are reduced to haploid okay so we can say that as a result of meiosis four daughter cells are formed having half the number of chromosomes as compared to their parent cell and this half the number of chromosome is called haploid number of chromosome parent has 2n diploid number of chromosomes whereas daughters four daughters haploid cells haploid chromosomes single n <coughs> okay students clear i repeat this main point of concept in mitosis daughter cells have same number of chromosome as their parent cell on the other hand in meiosis the four daughter cells they have half the number of chromosomes as compared to their parent cells okay Now students, the daughter cells which are formed as a result of mitotic cell division, they are identical genotype as compared to their parents. Mitosis creates daughter cells which are identical to their parent cells. Whereas meiosis, it shows variation in genotype. Variation in genotype. Why this happens? Students, this is because of a process called crossing over. Crossing over. This crossing over of chromosomes or chromatids, it occurs in prophase 1 of meiosis 1. And this leads to the change in genotype of the daughter cells. Mitotic daughters, they will be identical to their parents. While in meiosis, there will be difference in genotype. students we continue with brief discussion on mitosis interface 
we are discussing mitosis briefly interphase students interphase is actually a warm up for cell division interphase is not an actual part of mitotic cell division it is just a preparation for mitosis to start what happens in this phase interphase dna is replicated okay dna is replicated cell prepares for mitosis it stores energy interface students after interface the mitosis has first phase which is called prophase in prophase the chromatin material condenses all the dna material which was previously in a loosely packed manner it becomes condenses and as a result of this chromatin material condensation chromosomes they become visible chromosomes they become visible in prophase now prometaphase students prometaphase is the phase between prophase and metaphase okay now what happens in prometaphase nuclear material nuclear membrane it breaks off nuclear membrane which was surrounding the nucleus which was keeping the nuclear material intact it breaks off okay now metaphase students what happens in metaphase in metaphase the chromosomes they arrange themselves in a center equatorial line chromosomes arrange themselves in a line all the chromosomes they come closer to each other and arrange themselves in a midline okay now students anaphase in anaphase the sister chromatids sister chromatids these are the part of the chromosomes which are in close proximity to each other the chromatids they become separate from each other sister chromatids they become separate from each other 
and as a result the chromosomes move towards their opposite poles of the cells now telophase students in this phase the chromosomes reach at their poles the daughter chromosomes they reach at the poles okay and for two nucleoli at the poles some of the chromosomes they are deposited at one end of the cell and some of the chromosome they are deposited at the other corner of the cell this happens in telophase now students after telophase the process of cytokinesis starts cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm up till now this was division of nuclear material which was present inside the nucleus now it has been completed in the way <coughs> that some of the chromosomes they have collected at one end of the cell some of the chromosomes have collected at one end some at the other end now when cytokinesis develops cytoplasm around these chromosome will also divide and as a result myosin and actin contraction this cytoplasm divides and two daughter cells are formed okay students this was all about mitosis now we continue with meiosis students meiosis has same phases interphase that is start of meiosis the cell it prepares to undergo meiosis it gathers it stores energy dna replication starts in interphase after interphase we have prophase 1 prophase 1 what happens in the prophase 1 condensation of the nuclear material so that chromosomes become more and more visible okay a another point which is unique for meiosis is synopsis occurs synopsis occurs students this synopsis it means that there is a transfer of nuclear material between two homologous chromosomes and as a result a tetrad is formed okay this chromosome this is synopsis now these four are called tetrads now after synopsis crossing over occurs in prophase prophase 1 crossing over occurs 
students in this process the homologous chromosomes they sh share their nuclear material some part of the nuclear material with each other okay prophase one now metaphase one metaphase one again chromosomes they arrange in midline okay anaphase anaphase the chromosomes become separated from each other and move towards the opposite poles okay students and the last step that is telophase one the chromosomes reach at the terminal ends of a cell chromosomes reach at poles of the cell cytoplasm gathers around them and again at the last cytokinesis starts which leads to formation of two daughter cells at the end of meiosis one and students after this meiosis 1 is completed meiosis 2 starts okay and at the end of meiosis 2 there are four daughter cells which has half the number of chromosomes as their parent cell thank you students allah hafiz